Let's take a look at using something called the ION chip. Now, a chip allows us to represent a particular entity inside of a small block. So this will make sense when we actually see the UI element. So what we need to do is head over to our home.html or the template of your choice. I'm going to change the title here to chips. And we'll also give the navbar a color of primary. So we'll start off by saying ION chip and we'll make a default chip which has a label inside and we'll call this one a basic chip. If we save this and take a look inside of our project and I am using a basic test project here, you can actually see that we have now a basic chip with the text inside. We can go again and we can copy this. This time we can add a color to the chip. So we could give the label a color of secondary and we're going to call this one a secondary chip. As you can see, now the text is green. So let's call this one green text chip instead. And what we can also do is change the color of the chip. So what we might want to do is say that the chip potentially has the color of dark, but the label has the color of secondary. So this one will be called dark chip green text. As you can see, now we have a chip which is dark and of course has that green text. This can be done once again for things potentially like red, if we were to say danger and we get rid of the label color and we could call this one danger chip. And if we take a look, we do get this red chip. So we have a variety of different items that we've added to the screen. And we can also, if we wish, add icons to these chips. So let's copy that once again. This time we'll say that our label is chip with icon. And as well as the ion label, we will add an ion icon. The icon can have the name of something like Angular. And we'll call this one chip with the Angular icon. And I'm also going to remove the color from the chip. That will actually have to be named the logo Angular instead of Angular. But if we take a look now, we can see that our chip has the Angular icon. So you can add any ion icon that you wish to your chips. And if you wanted to, we could also take our chip. And instead of using an icon, we could add an ion avatar with an image inside and the source of assets slash avatar dot JPEG. The label will say the chip with avatar. And as you can see now, we have a chip with myself as an avatar. Obviously, I do have that image inside of my assets folder. You can also have a chip with a button inside. So let's take the Angular icon chip and we can add a button to this. We'll give this the ion button and also clear attribute and a click event, which potentially allows the user to remove the chip. So we could say remove and pass in a reference to this chip. So we could call this one Angular chip. We'd also then have to give this a template variable with the hashtag named Angular chip. And as you can see now, we can sort of select that button and inside of our home.ts, it's quite simple. We just need to make a remove function with a chip of type element. And we can say chip dot remove. If we now save this and build our application once more, we can take this chip and of course we can remove it from the DOM. For more information on this, you can of course check out the Ionic documentation, but this is how we use chips within our Ionic projects.